Hey everybody, it's Ruthie Hardy and I just got home from using my portable bars at Infinity Park and I wanted to go ahead and do some portable bar assembly instructions for you on video and let you see how easy it is the new bars that are tongue and groove and like a latched design go together. I call them the Euro style and we use a lot less hardware on them and they go together really, really easy. So ready? Here we go. Let's put them together. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start putting it together. First of all, you wanna go ahead and lay out all your pieces. You wanna have one of the headers, two of the legs, and then a short crossbar and a long crossbar. We sometimes refer to the crossbars as stretchers. Now I've got a little weather coming in, so I'm gonna talk quickly and move fast, okay? One thing about the legs is you're not gonna make a mistake because you can see where they go. You see your inserts for your crossbars are down at the bottom and it gets a wider spaced up top. Your legs are also beveled at the ends, which you'll see in your assembly still shot instructions. So they're at an angle like this. And so just like a capital A will stand flat, so will your arches once you put them together. So you wanna lay your arches, or excuse me, your legs next to where they'll slide in lay your short crossbar next to the hole it's going to go in and your long crossbar in the hole that it's going to go in too. So once you have all your pieces laid out, you're ready to assemble the short crossbar and the long crossbar in your leg. Please note that you can't put it together if you put the headers in first. That is the last thing that we will do before we lean the arches up against the table. So here we go. You're gonna to wanna to take your white rubber mallet, $5 at Home Depot. A white one is better because it won't mar or make black marks on your nice hardwood maple wood finish. You can also take a hammer and wrap a washcloth around it like I've done here and basically put a rubber band around a, a mallet or a hammer and do it that way as well. So what you wanna do is take your first notch at the bottom of your leg that goes into the long crossbar and line up the, the notches. Then take your second notch and insert your short crossbar and again, line up the notches, just like Lincoln Logs. Take your rubber mallet, tap, 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 and it's down in place connected. However, we're going to retighten it with a tap, tap once it's upright. Let's go do the other side. So now we're ready to slide the header into the two legs. You can't make a mistake because the notch is already lined up. Always grab your header from the smooth sanded part rather than the legs that slide down inside the holes. Line up one square, line up the other square, and simply push into place. You might need to push it against yourself like that just to hear the notch catch and you're done. So we talked before about holding on to your headers from the shiny sanded part, but a word about the notching on your headers where the handrail will drop into place. The sharp angles of them, you want to be mindful not to touch these with your hands, and then when you get ready to line up the handrail, as you'll see in a minute when we stand on our table, it just goes down into place and voila, done. So you're going to want to have your four connector clamps laid out, ready to go. From your assembly instructions, we'll show you the hardware. Simply slide a washer onto one of your bolts and have these ready to go so that as soon as you find someone to help you raise up your arch, you can do your connector clamps at the table. Have your assistant or friend help you raise the arch. Clear your headrests as best you, as you can. And you want to line up your crossbars as close to your table legs as possible and make sure that even, even space between your table and your bars looks the same on either side. Notice that the connector clamps are different. One has more space at the end and the other has less space. That's because the one with more space will go on the ground and connect your large crossbar to your table legs and the shorter space on the connector clamp will go with your top crossbar, the shorter one. Once you raise your one arch that's already assembled, 
go around with your white mallet and go ahead and knock it down into place one more time to make sure you've got all of your corners and the tongue and groove is in place. We're now ready to raise our connector clamp. Make sure that you line it up with your hole. Take your five millimeter T-handle and give it a couple of turns. One, two, three. Get a couple of threads in there to hold so that you can walk away and go to the other side or else you'll get a seesaw effect back and forth. And we're gonna come over to the other side and do the same thing. Don't over tighten. And again, you want to line up your upper connector clamp, pull your crossbar into you, give it two or three good spins just to get the teeth going and go do the other side. So we've come to the other side now. And again, we're just going to tighten. The T-handle will just clear your table deck of your massage table. Always a good idea to grab the crossbar, pull it into you, and again, don't over tighten, just get the threading so you don't have the seesaw effect going from one side of the connector clamp to the other. Just a little tidbit about your handrails. Your handrails come to you unfinished. We don't want a lot of build up lacquer on them because when you handle them with your hands, it would get all adhesive and sticky. So we try to keep your bars as natural as possible and what I'm doing here is I've just got a little bit of Johnson's floor wax on a rag and I'm doing another sealer coat. As you know, the wood is porous and it's going to just suck up anything that you put on it. But we want to have your notches nice and smooth so they slip down easily. Danish oil, Pledge, Johnson's furniture wax, any kind of oil will do. When we get ready to drop our handrails in, simply line them up across your headers and they'll slide down inside the notch. Come down to the other end. You might have a little, little finagling to do, depending on if your uh, arch frame is leaning out or in, and they should be secure and in place. Remember, we never do anything where we push up on the bars like so. We actually pull down and have our gravity going downward into the client. However, when it's time to go, simply hold on to the header, give it a slight tap with your wrist, and our handrails are out of the headers and ready. When you disassemble your bars, make sure that your frame stays upright and you lay it down just like we put it together. What you don't want to do is this. Turn the bars on their side, lift them up and start carrying them around like this because the tongue and groove where they go together, the latch part of it, they will start to fall apart.